<laughs> What's up guys, it's Pierre here from Gdansk in your pocket and today we're on Sventoyanska Street in uh, Gdynia specifically in the Baltic Plaza, that's Baltic with a Q at the end uh, and behind me we have the uh, Hartseska Monument, the monument to the scouts that um, were mobilized against Hitler during the invasion of 1939 and um, and were killed in action. There's a few nice shops here, um, probably my favorite is Flying Tiger which is just on the corner. Uh, if you live in Poland uh, you'd, you'd know well and truly about that. Anyways, so today on Foodie Fridays we're trying a new restaurant that has just popped up in, uh, uh, in Gdynia on, on the main street. Uh, it's called Bambus and Bambus describe themselves as Asian European cuisine. So a lot of places will claim that they're Chinese or Vietnamese or Vietnamese and Chinese, but these guys are pretty honest about the fact that they've got a mixed menu. So I think that's pretty cool. I've already placed my order and uh, the guys there are super nice people. So I'm looking forward to trying their food. So the first thing I want to say about this order is that uh, the Bambus people threw in uh, a Pepsi for myself and my lovely assistant behind the camera, uh, which is super nice of you, thank you. Um, first thing I just want to talk about just from the looks of it, it's, it's all polystyrene and plastic, including the forks and the cutlery and stuff. So for packaging, uh, I don't think they're gonna score very highly uh, at the end of this, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay, so first up, we have Saigonki spring rolls. And they are ground meat. And we've got some sweet chili sauce and some kapusta. Saigonki. Just saw some sweetie chili and nova. It's much in a I think my assistant and I are sort of coming to the consensus that this is a little bit bland. Even the sweet chili sauce is actually a little bit watered down. Maybe. Honestly, not a huge fan of this one. That's all right. We have three dishes. So let's move on to number two. I believe this is the chop suey. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, cabbage, rice, and the beef and veggies. Okay, yeah. I've got to mix a couple of things together. And you know what happens when I usually do that. It's always a slight, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a catastrophe. But, you know, it's fun to watch, so it's hard to get a lot on one fork. Okay, this'll do. All right, it's much nego. Chop suey. Beef chop suey. This is a bit bland. The ingredients are pretty fresh, but it's just soy sauce. It's, it's pretty bland. I'll try some cabbage, just in case the cabbage is... You know, <laughs> you know. I, I know I'm only on the first main dish, but I guess it's important to just point out that I think a lot of Asian restaurants in Poland um, tend to tone it down a little too much because they think that Poles are not into spices, which is absolutely not the case. Actually, Poles are pretty good uh, in general, and they're, they're actually very, you know, they're much more open-minded about different cuisines than you would think. So the spice factor uh, is, is actually quite important. Uh, and I, I think even Magda Gessler talks about this too. And let's, let's see what happens with the final uh, dish, okay? Okay, the final dish from Bambus is Pad Thai with chicken. They didn't have a vegetarian option. And, whoa, now this looks good. I like this. There's a little bit of extra chili in the side tub, so this is this is a good this is a good uh, sign. So I'm just gonna dip in here. Let's see what happens. Okay, pad thai, bambus, schmatznego. Mm. Okay, not so sweet. In fact, it's soy. It's very soy based, like the other one. It is nutty. They got the nut factor down. Um, but um, yeah, this is basically tastes 
very similar to the other one, unfortunately. What I'm gonna do though, just since they provided us with the, um, the chili, I'm going to, oh, it's hard to maneuver this, by the way. I'm just gonna, you know, spread it over and see what happens. Oh. Mm. Okay, this is much better. This is much better. The, the chili sauce has, has kind of improved things greatly, to be honest. Mm. Let's talk first about uh, presentation. Looks. Looks are pretty good. It's not, it's not bad, okay? Um, and plus, if we include service in looks as well, in terms of presentation, super nice people, really nice people. Um, and and the, the premises was also really lovely as well. So, you know, presentation, I'm giving a, f I'm a four and a half. Okay, four and a half, I'll give presentation. Build, I have no, cons no problems with the build. Build is a five, okay. But in terms of packaging, everything is plastic. Plastic polystyrene. Um, so, you know, as much as I love these people, they're super nice, like I said, but packaging doesn't score very well for me, so I'm gonna give packaging a one, okay? Sorry, Bambus. And now to talk about taste, the all-important taste. Like I said, you know, all these different dishes are basically the same. I mean, they all taste very, very, very similar. Um, they need more spices. They need more differentiation between dishes, for example. I mean, the chop suey is obviously, it's a, it's a soy-based dish. But we know that this, the Pad Thai, now we know that it should be nutty and sweet. And it wasn't nutty and sweet, it was soy based. Um, but, you know, if they're gonna throw in sriracha and other chili pastes and stuff in with it, then there's uh, a little bit of hope. But still, the, the uh, taste needs work, quite frankly. So, what are we gonna give them The taste? 2.5, two and a half. I think two and a half is good. So, Bumbles, if you're watching, I reckon, please, please take into account, Poles love spices, they really do. And uh, Australians living in Poland love spices too. And finally, value. For saigonki, two saigonki, pad thai with chicken, and a chop suey with, with beef, beef, I paid 51 zwotis and 20 groschen. Now the portions are pretty big, I will give them that. But the main thing that's bringing down uh, the rating today, like I said, is the taste, okay? So uh, today, in terms of value, I'm gonna give them four. I think four is good. Bambus, if you're out there, uh, if you're listening to me, um, I am gonna come back in the future and I'm gonna try again and, and hopefully next time I'm gonna be blown away by your by your amazing Asian European cuisine. Okay? Great. So guys, what did you think? And um, is there somewhere you want me to check next time? Leave comments below. Uh, and in the meantime, you can check out all our great content about the Tri-City on facebook.com slash Gdansk in your pocket. And we're also on Instagram. Uh, at Gdansk in your pocket. Uh, and until next time, I hope you have a good week.